It is now okay. The open is. Hey guys, welcome back to Cook It Enjoy Food. If you are new here, you are welcome. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and also like it. So guys, before I start with the video, I just want to inform you that this is not a sponsored video. It is not sponsored, it's just me going in the shop looking for a product to review. So today, I'm going to do a product review and I'm going to review this muffin mix. Um, it is snowflake muffin mix, cappuccino flavor. This is now my first review. Um, I've noticed that their package is waterproof, so this is really good um, to have something which is waterproof. So they are saying that this is too fresh to flop, so it's going to take, I don't know what, to make it flop, but it's too fresh to flop, and it is an easy mix, cappuccino flavored, and they are saying that it makes 12 regular muffins so we'll go and see if it will make 12 regular muffins so they're saying what we'll need is the content of this packet of course and two extra large eggs 105 ml of cooking oil i don't think you'll see but yeah it's stated right here and 200 ml of water so that's what you're going to need so i'm just going to get all my ingredients so guys i'm back with my ingredients so let's go to the instructions um the instructions are preheat oven to 180 degrees celsius so this is what i'm going to do now let me just preheat my oven to 180 degrees celsius The next is place the easy mix into a mixing bowl. Here's my mixing bowl. I'm struggling with opening this. So this a downfall. So probably they sealed it for freshness. Freshness, yeah. Let me just move this out of the way. And right away, when I just open this now, I can already get that smell of cappuccino. So the cappuccino is really in me. So they said we must place this into a mixing bowl. It is quite a lot. I think they have chocolate bits in there. And I got this purchase for 15 Namibian dollars. That's equivalent to 1 US dollar. Lightly beat eggs, oil and water. Add to easy mix and mix with a spoon until just combined do not over mix so they are telling me that i must beat the three eggs and the oil and water probably in a separate bowl then i come and add it into this easy mix now i need to go and get another bowl i'm back with my other mixing bowl and my whisk so, I must now lightly beat eggs, oil, and water. So, what I'm going to do now, let me just put my um, water. This is 200 ml of water. And 125 ml of cooking oil. So, this is equivalent to half a cup of oil. Like adding oil to water and then egg it's just not what I am used of so when I'm doing muffins I'm from scratch this is not what I do I don't mix such things together but let's follow the instructions they really know what they are doing so now let me just whisk this 
They said bit. Whoops. My mixing bowl is small. So I'm going to get a bigger bowl. Then I come and mix it well. Because it's spilling all over. And they said we must beat it. So I must do it with a fast continuous beating motion. I'm back with a bigger bowl. Here it is. So let me just transfer this into here. And now let me beat it. I like that you only add three ingredients which are the eggs and the cooking oil and the and water so that's really easy to do and to find in the shop and it's also affordable you know? it's I think it's easy to the point that kids can also um, try to do it with your supervision here's my easy mix my spoon now i'm going to add this to here just until it's combined then i mix until it's combined no. wonderful so this is well combined i think just until combined so what they're saying is that now what i'm going to do i need to spoon equal quantities of the mixture into a well greased muffin pan here is my muffin pan. Now I'm thinking this will affect affect the experiment negatively because I just think that my muffin um, size, my fan pen size is a little bit bigger than the regular one, probably. But we'll see if will that affect it negatively. So I'm going to look for something which I can spoon equal amounts of this butter into here so guys what i did here i just add a little bit of cooking oil into the paint so i get a paper towel and what i'm going to do i'm just going now to grease it with that so i also got something which i'm going to scoop the butter with so i'm also going to grease it Probably this will help the butter not to stick into the in here. Going to spoon it. I'm trying not to show you guys how it I'm doing it. Guys, I really don't know what's happening to my camera, but it's really it is really going blurry like you might have seen some parts before that are really blurry i'm very sorry for that just don't know what's happening to the camera today guys i am now done with the first batch this is how it looks like and this is the remaining this is the remaining mixture butter i think let me see so what they're saying is that bake for 20 and um, bake for plus minus 20 minutes what i'm going to do i'm going to put it in the oven for plus minus 20 minutes then i'll go in with a toothpick to see if it is cooked it is now okay the oven is so hot guys i really don't know what to say right now my pen just fell as you see now i don't know how to take it out of this it's just a mess oh my goodness <gasps> now i don't know must i leave it inside until it's cooked then i can flip it the way around or what must i do i just wanted to show you this not on purpose I'm really now scooping it out of the oven <laughs> Guys, I am now done cleaning it now. I have to preheat it again and oh, goodness. 
this situation right now now i have to wash this out and to place the, this back into this this is round number two i almost had a heart attack but everything is back to normal now let me just scoop it in there and put it back into the oven if this batch doesn't turn out well it's all my fault i'm really accountable to that but now let's try again and put this back into the oven it has safely made its way into the oven now we're going to cook this for plus minus 20 minutes it is now out of the oven so i'm just going to let it cool a little bit place the other batch in there and cook it then i'll be back with the end product guys here is my second batch only two cupcakes in here i think it could have given me 12 cupcakes if i had a regular sized muffin pan but unfortunately i only have this big size so probably that's why so i'm just going to put it in there and cook it um, let me just break it so you can see the inside of it I'm just trying to focus so this is how it looks like it is airy and not that dense the outside of uh, the muffins is still dry so I'm thinking that maybe if I place it in an, a, in an airtight container then it will not be um, too dry but it is in, in the inside it is nice and soft so this is how it looks like let me just taste it and see You know what? The cappuccino um, smell, the scent of cappuccino is really in there. But the taste is not that much. It's not overpowering actually. Mm, the muffin is great. I do recommend you guys uh, try this out. If you like um, really lazy to do a muffin from scratch, you can just go in the shop and get this. It's also affordable. And yes, it's not really going to taste like a muffin from scratch, but it is really good considering its price. comment on how was the experience of trying it or are you considering trying it please subscribe hit that notification bell turn on your notifications so that you can be notified whenever i upload a video and like the video share it with your family and friends and bye see you in the next video don't forget to cook eat and enjoy your food